was smoking all my dragons, divine righteous, almighty greats over achieving, never slacking. And today we got a video by this is Leah Hatzakis, if I pronounced it right. And this is stereotypes British people believe about Americans. Original link will be in the description. Definitely go uh, subscribe to her and show some love. And we're going to get to it. Here we go. Leah Hatzakis, and um, today we're going to be finding out. So I probably pronounced that crazy, right? Her last name. Hazakis, I think it is. Hello, I'm Leah Hatzakis, and today we're going to be finding out about stereotypes of Americans from British people in London. So let's go find out some stereotypes. They Large don't get portions. our humour. They don't get our humour? Large <laughs> portions. Yeah. Um, oh, God, I was going to say something really offensive then, and I think I won't. Uh, what are stereotypes? Did she say large portions? Hold on. Yeah. Um, oh god, I was gonna say it's like they don't get portions. our humor. They don't get our humor. Large portions. I will agree with that. I will agree with the large portion part. The humor part, 50 50 about it. 50 50 50, you know. But the large portions, yes, I agree. Yeah. Um, oh god, I was gonna say it's something really offensive then, and I think I won't. Uh, what are stereotypes that British people have about Americans? That they're all fat. Yeah, they are fat, aren't they? They're really obese. I Damn. We all fat? Damn. That's how y'all feel? I think because of the food. Oh, no, they're not, but that's just like a stereotype. What stereotypes do British people or Australians mm. have about Americans? Close your ears. They're all awesome. <laughs> that's nice. And, uh, that's the most awesome yeah. we've had today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is true. Yeah. What are the stereotypes that British people have about American people? Um, they're really loud. <laughs> so yeah. that is American. Oh, you're British. they're really loud. Yeah. Um, any others? And do you no. think that's true? Yeah. Loud. Yeah. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. Very loud. And in your face. In your face. Yeah. <laughs> Don't come to New York, then. They, New Yorkers, they straightforward. I mean, yeah, you're going to run into some loud, you know, uh, the, 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 uh, what, uh, Italians, Spanish folks, uh, so-called native, uh, so-called uh, African-American folks, Jamaicans, Caribbean, all that. You're going to get the loudness. You're going to get the hand movement. Well, y'all are loud with people that's talking. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't disagree with that either, but that's not, like I said, there's also suburban areas where people are, you know, a lot more quiet. Uh, and a lot more just humble and their approach is different. I'm like that, to be honest. Like, you know, I'm, I don't like to be loud and you know, obnoxious and that's, that's not my cup of tea. A little bit stupid. Ooh. <laughs> really? Damn. Damn. Damn, that's how that, that's really how they feel. Donald Trump is in power, guys, I mean, and yeah, those people voted yeah. that man in. I think they have quite yeah. rash decisions. They don't really think about it as much as we do. I just think that they're, they're quite divided, aren't they? Like, the left is really left. She's 100% correct about the division. The division is serious out here. Like, it is. I'm not even going to, I'm not going to try to, I can't, I can't debate that. That's a fact. The division, everything's divided. I, she She's telling the truth with that part. And the yeah. right is really right, and yeah. like, there's no real logic or think yeah. like a thinking person's middle ground. Oh, okay, that sounds right. horrible too. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. I think we apologise for everything we say. As oh well, yeah, yeah. But they don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's true. That's Great, yeah. Tea. Yeah. Great tea. Great tea. Great tea. The the U.S. You know America's ego is crazy. You ain't really gonna get too much apologies. Great tea. There you go. Maybe I could pass as an American. Yeah, you could. Yeah. And the second question. That was the second one. No, the second one is. <laughs> <laughs> the second question is what are the stereotypes that we have as British people about Americans? So someone earlier said big portions. Yes, true. True, isn't it? Yeah. Well, they are, but I like them and they like us. Oh. As soon as they hear you speak, they just want to, you know, join in with you because they like our accent. I think that they're like chatty British people. Yes, they are. Yeah, Sorry. yeah, yeah. More friendly. Do you think so? Oh, do you? Do you not? Well, I suppose I do, yes, in one way. In yeah. one way, yeah. Do yeah. you think it's real or fake, the friendliness? 
Um, sometimes it can be fake, sometimes not. You just have to be careful who you talk. So far, she has the most um, just genuine answer to me personally, like from the heart. Like she's not trying to talk down or, or, or trying to be like, I guess, too cold about it. She's trying to be really be fair and... You know, she's she really representing for it because she's an older woman. So uh, she's carrying herself as an older woman should and just being fair and being respectful with her answers. I suppose it's not everything. Everywhere. Everything. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. I just quickly say um, it's fine for us to put this in the video. Oh, of course, so, yes, no, I yes. don't mind. Thank no. you. Yes. No, I because won't make the paper. I'll tell you why. I'll <laughs> think you yeah, yet. But no, you, no, what don't be defeatist. You've got to be positive. <laughs> yeah. there was, I was in my garden one day, and these two people come up. I told you, Christine, didn't I? And they were doing a survey, so they said. So they asked me what I thought about where I lived. I told them and what have you. And I'd got children and how they were doing. And they were going to put it in, the, you know, like a woman's own magazine. And when they put it in there, it was all lies. All oh, lies. No, that's Seriously. Not, that's not nice. It was all they lies. It was awful. Actually. Well, they might but have been still. posing as um, yeah, interviewers. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's thank you. It's not. I'm a normal. <laughs> good. I'm just a oh, well, good luck to you. you. Good luck. You don't mind being in your no. magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if I had a magazine and <laughs> a column. All right. Thanks, ladies. All right. Enjoy thank Mamma you. Mia. And you. I think you'll have the best time. We will. We See will. Bye. 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 They were lovely. Yeah. Absolutely bloody lovely. Once again, go subscribe to her channel. Show her some love. She's doing a fantastic job being out here amongst the people and uh, getting answers directly to us on how to how the people in uh, the UK feel about American stereotypes. Do you know what? Sometimes you can just get so lonely in London. It's because none of us talk to each other. No one has a conversation. Yeah, so Do you know what I mean? So no one chats, but people are magic. Like There's some good ones. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, leave a comment, do all the things, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Once again, go show her channel some love. She did a fantastic job. Uh, one thing that really caught me uh, at the end when she says no one in London really talks to each other definitely reminds me of New York. Uh, New York City, that is. Whereas, like, you go to New York City, you can definitely feel like uh, a ghost at times because everybody's kind of just, like, have you ever seen that movie, The Matrix? Everybody's just walking past each other, you know? And it's, they're so desensitized to things to where it's like nothing in New nothing's going to really surprise you. So you're just kind of like, I, I'm doing this, I got work, I got other, and everybody's just passing each other. There's people everywhere, people everywhere. You know, you're never going to, more than likely never going to see people face again. So it's, you can definitely feel like a ghost out there. But, um, so, so from how she explained it, explained it, London may be, may be a little similar for sure. Um, but overall, the elderly, the, the more, the older woman, Towards the end, uh, she definitely had a very fair answer. Um, as far as the everyone being fat, like obviously there is an obesity problem in America, and that's from like the right large portions. Uh, you know, even with like it's hard, for, it's hard. There's so much food everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Good food, it gets very hard to um, to control that, to have that type of discipline. I'm not gonna lie, but. There's also a lot of a lot of healthy people too. There's a lot of healthy people. Uh, you can go right now on YouTube and look up places like in New York City, the Bronx, all these places where people are just in parks working out all day, fit over fifty, you know, <laughs> all day. So um, you also can find the most fantastic, amazing people that that may not get the credit that they deserve uh, because you might be used to watching. I don't know, maybe. Netflix movies or media and always just seeing a certain type of people. So we we definitely just got to be fair with things, you know, definitely. But with that being said, I think overall the video was fair and everybody answered. Uh, they, they, they spoke their truth. I ain't mad at that. Shout out to the UK. Shout out to London. With that being said, original link in the description. If you want more videos like this, hit that like, that subscribe, that notification bell. Much love to you all.